I'm back with part 6 of the IKEA PAX built-in wardrobe tutorial. Now the wardrobe is built and the panelling has been wood filled and corked, in this part I'll be showing you my tips on priming MDF and getting that all-important perfect finish. My go-to primer is usually Zinsa Bin, but we had a heat wave and it dried too quickly, so instead I use Valspar's wood primer and undercoat. As covered in the last video, you want to do the edges first. So sand them with 120, then 220 grit and apply your primer. The first coat seals the MDF and lifts the fibres, so then sand it again so it's buttery smooth and apply your second coat of primer. You can then move on to the backs of the doors. You can either use a paint spray if you have one, or you can use a foam roller again. It rained this day so I only ended up spraying one door and rolling the rest. The finish is near enough the same. After I moved the hinges, I used a brush to get into the corners of the panelling and sanded it with 120 grit between each coat. I did two thin coats of primer and then once dry, gave them another sand with 220 grit. I got Dulux's Natural Hessian colour matched in a satin wood finish. Always remember to give it a good shake. I lined my paint tray with tin foil for easy clean up and gave the backs and sides a thin coat of paint and left them to dry for four hours between coats. You want to scuff the paint again between each coat using 220 grit for that super smooth finish. I ended up doing three coats. If you have any lines from the roller, lightly go over them until the lines disappear and store the foam roller in a ziplock bag in the fridge in between coats. Once your final coat is on and they're dry, hang the doors once more and adjust them so they all open and close without catching. Pop down a drop cloth and get painting the fronts using the same roll, dry, sand and repeat technique. And you're done. Once dry, your wardrobes will have that gorgeous near professional finish as well as being wiped clean and durable. Here's a sneak peek of the final look. Follow for more DIY tips and tutorials.